Okay, today on Survival Guns, we're going to be doing part one of my everyday carry uh, pocket knives. And we're going to start off, uh, the part one is going to be the Benchmade Rift. And um, I have three everyday carry knives now, so the Spydercos that I have are going to be part two and three. So stay tuned for that. And uh, so let's just get to it. Alright, so this is the Benchmade Rift Model 950 series. And there are going to be minor differences where the blade uh, might not be blackened, different color for the G10 handles, and uh, there's going to be a suffix on the 950. This one happens to be the SBK, and that's for the partially serrated blade, the S part. Otherwise, it's going to be a BK. And there's going to be blacks instead of the um, alternating um, laminate G10 charcoal and black, which makes it look really nice, I think. All right, so this is... Um, we're just going to go through, quickly go through the features, and then I'm going to talk about why I like it and uh, how I carry it and so forth. All right, so it has the 154cm uh, steel blade, which is 3.67 inches long, partially serrated. It's got a nice wide belly. It's a reverse tanto design, very good for uh, stabbing and piercing things. It's got a 1 8 inch thick blade. The rock well hardness is around uh, 58 to 61. It's got a really nice design here so it's easy to um, it re reduces the weight but it's also easy to uh, pierce objects or for self-defense. The opening is done through uh, an ambidextrous stud feature here. It's got a really nice axis lock very very strong. You pull back on it and it releases the lock like that. So that's how it opens, releases, also for left hand, it's got the stud on both sides. And it's marked Benchmade here with their logo, and then um, Osborne, for the Osborne design, it was designed uh, by Warren Osborne, and there's the steel markings right there. Another way to open it would be to pull back on the axis lock, and then you could flip it open. And that works uh, ambidextrous as well. Just pull it back. The weight of this knife is 4.8 ounces. It's uh, my strongest and nicest knife, but I don't carry it as often as my spider coat just because of the weight is 4.8 ounces. If I'm wearing a lightweight gun that day, like my uh, Ruger LCR, then I'll, I'll throw this in, the po in my uh, pocket because it um, just adds a little bit more weight. The spider coats are more in the three something ounces instead of uh, 4.8, you know, close to five. A little bit heavy for a pocket, but not bad at all. I've had much heavier knives. So this one is in the tip up configuration where the tip is up when it's in the pocket. And the, and the pocket clip is reversible for right hand or left hand pocket use if you're left handed or want to wear it on your off hand side. It's got a nice ample guard here. So if you're stabbing or piercing objects, your, your hand won't slip onto the blade very well. There's no knurling on top, but it still has a good purchase because of the really nice um, milled G10 scales. have a nice texture, but it's not rough enough to hurt your hands or anything like that. It's 8.27 inches overall length and about 4.6 inches when it's uh, closed. All right, so here's um, how it looks in the pocket. This is a really strong knife. I just really like it a lot. And that's what it looks like when it's in the pocket, so not too obtrusive. And the way it's deployed is you put your thumb in there, pull it out, and it's right in your hand already, ready to go. Now I find by using the axis lock method, like this, and when you pull it out, you have to reach up, pull back, and then it's just much more cumbersome, I think. So it's very easy, it's easier when I'm wearing it, but just to pull it out and then it opens right up like that. And then you could, self-defense, you could use it right away like this or get a better purchase when you have time in a defensive situation. But um, this is a really nice knife. It costs around 175 bucks. I, I found it mint used in the $130 range. And um, I don't abuse the knives, but um, it's uh, really sharp. I've only sharpened it once. As you can see, it just cuts right through. Yeah, I know you shouldn't cut knives with paper because, um, I mean, paper with knives, because um, it dulls the blade. No, oh, come on, that's what it's for, right? You want to use the knife to cut things, boxes, everyday use. The odds are you're not going to use it for self-defense. So just use your knife, sharpen it when you need to. And uh, so that's my review of the Benchmade Osborne Rift. Thanks for watching.